All right, should be good. <clears throat> we live finally? Holy crap. Morning, y'all. Oh, yeah. How's everyone doing? All right, had some technical difficulties this morning. With the old internets. Finally live. All right. We don't have too much time till market open. So we are not going to really delay anything here. Um, got important announcements for you. Pretty exciting stuff going on this week. Okay. In terms of uh, what we've got going on in the pipeline. So, so first off, we need to get into tickers. Or not. Or not. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. My scans just closed. <laughs> Getting it fired back up here. Give me one sec. Just got back from Nashville. Thanks to all who joined me in Nashville. We had a packed room in there. Uh, really awesome group. Really solid group. Two days, live trading, lessons. It was a good time. Really good time. Thanks to uh, Brandon Hanna. Thanks to Carlos for uh, coming down and... First of all, these are six figure students, you know, that are doing really great, but they keep showing up to learn, which is fantastic. And then they get to help people, which is even better. Right. So thanks to all who showed up. Um, was a really, really great time. Okay. Let's get this, uh, get this damn scan up y'all. Boom. Hmm. So first off, um, had a couple runners yesterday, right? Kind of interesting, algo-driven, uh, dilutive, crazy kind of midday move, right? On RGLS specifically. Let's get out of the scan quickly. Let's get into the charts really fast and talk, um, obviously, NVIDIA, okay? Strength again, markets strong again yesterday. After a few days pull, which it... Things don't go straight up, right? We all know that. Um, so all y'all who know process, we're gapping down slightly for now on at least the cues. NVIDIA's gapping down slightly. So strong though, okay? So strong. Um, yesterday's biggest runner was RGLS, okay? Very dilutive. Held key support in the twos, okay? But after failing, after sucking in all the crappy traders like they always do, right? So good to understand that. Really, really, really good to understand the dynamic of these runners, okay? Um, and not to chase them through highs, especially if you're new. Okay, everyone's going to tell you to buy it here. Everyone's going to tell you to buy it here. Worst fucking places to buy a stock, period. End of story. I don't care if you're right, you're wrong at the time. You're going to have to sit through pools. If this is you, right? We call this person in my room, we call you Billy. If this is you buying up here, you're never going to have a semblance of consistency trying to trade these. Zero, 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 zero. Even the pullbacks to those levels, right? The pullbacks like, oh, I buy breakouts, but I buy the pullback to the breakout, which makes me better than ever. No, it's not. It still sucks. 99% of the time, okay? In small cap. Because they're dilutive. All the volume they're dumping, RGLS was dumping yesterday. That being said, to continue to dump shares, what do they need? Someone tell me in the chat. To continue to dump shares, what do they need? Liquidity, correct. Buyers. So why not squeeze shorts too and bring volume back in again so they can dump more? And then look what happens again. This is just for reference for everything that you guys do because we don't have too much time together this morning. 
going forward. Just look at it. It's a, you don't need, and a lot of you have been trading for a while maybe, have felt this, like, oh man, you know? But you come back to this well every day because everyone tells you that that's what you're supposed to do. Those people telling you that they're, you're supposed to do that, they're not successful, I can promise you that. That's not possible. They're buying high. In order to make money, buying these stocks, which have incredibly explosive potential, you have to buy them low, as simple as that. And there is a lot to it. There's a lot to it, okay? And what I've realized over the last however long, few weeks specifically, is so many people, so many of you, still have no semblance of process or idea or a lot of the basic shit that you need to understand that goes on within the price action and the best way to maximize them. A lot of that, you just have no clue. You don't know what you don't know right now. And all you need to know are some basic fundamental things, not just fundamentals, but some fundamental trading ideas, supply demand ideas, market psychology, right? Y'all are concerned about your trading psychology. You're reading books to try to figure out your own personal trading psychology. Nothing's more important than market psychology. The, the psychology behind the chart is 10 times, 100 times more important than your personal psychology. Your personal psychology, though it can improve, is never going to trump market psychology. Does that make sense? Let me know in chat, please. It's a big deal. Okay. So I plan on getting these fundamental ideas to all of you for free. That's going to be the plan over the next 30 days. This is the big announcement, by the way. I'm doing a free 30-day mentorship, 100% free, no strings attached, uh, across all my social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and I'm going to be dropping nuggets every single day, full lessons on YouTube, live streams um, for the next month. I'm going to spend the next, because this market is fucking amazing, okay? If you like this idea, please smash the like. Hit that like for me right now. Um, because we're going to do something no one else in this industry is going to do, at least someone in my position who's actually successful, who actually has good information to get to you. Graham is Rolling Wolf Trades. I'm going to be dropping reels every day. Um, and you're going to see, it's going to be really special. It's going to be really, really special. Uh, if you're someone who trades like Forex or you're someone who's trading futures or options, great. You know, I'm learning how to trade options myself right now. I'm learning how to, I'm expanding my playbook, in other words, um, because that's what a day trader and a trader does, right? I have to figure out where there's volatility and be able to take volatility from multiple instruments. And that's my goal is to expand out too. But in terms of what I know best, it's small cap. And what is working best in my eyes is still small cap. Uh, in terms of explosive movements and the best places to grow accounts, period. Mathematically speaking, there's nothing compared to it. Are they a scam? Yes. Small cap, a lot of the tickers themselves are scan scams. And I'm going to explain all that to you, right? A lot of you already know it. But for those who are new here on YouTube, I'm going to be explaining that to you. And, under and once you understand what the scams are, you can take part in them, essentially. You can predict PRs. You can, there are so many amazing things that can happen in small cap. Uh, one of my best students right now, he made a million dollars trading small caps last week. Last week, okay? He made a million dollars trading small caps long. Same tickers that I trade last week, which is wild to think about, okay? It's an amazing, amazing market. And my plan is to get you guys actually useful information absolutely free this month. So if that sounds great. Make sure that you are following me here on YouTube. Um, and make sure to smash the like. All right. Ticker time. Ticker time. RGLS midday reversal, right? Camel toe pattern we're talking about. Um, nice two hold. Kind of reverse head and shoulders. If you're into that sort of thing, right? Flip it upside down. Shorts love that shit. Um, I don't really care about what that pattern necessarily is. I care that it got to an important key level from the morning and held. All right. I also care that it took a little bit of time. So I know that if I'm trading something that failed morning spike this morning, right, going through lows or even a gap in crap, I may have to be a little bit slower. Okay. I have to kind of keep this context in mind. Um, Someone remind me of the other one. What was the other one? CLRO or something? 
Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Okay. CLRO was a quick morning reversal. It didn't quite give me lows that I wanted. I was waiting for buck fifties, hopefully, to try to work just some of this basic pre-market support. They had phase two news. They were not dilutive. Okay. They had a nice morning spike, right? Consolidation all day. We were talking about this midday setup in yesterday in Tennessee together. Remember? So that's that. Mm -hmm. This morning, here's what we got going on. So we only have a few minutes left, okay? So we're going to leak in a few minutes into the market open, and then I'm getting straight over to my Discord um, for live trading, okay? Still doing live trading every day in the Discord, still doing one-on-ones every day. Um, but I'm going to be dropping some serious lessons for you guys for free. So that's, that's going to be the MO this month, right? You know, everyone's so damn long to get good and for most gurus in my opinion it's an excuse to just make you keep paying them right it's like oh but this do yeah okay we can cut that learning curve easily in half in my opinion maybe even less probably way less probably 10 times faster is my is my guess with the information we'll be able to drop to you this this month GXAI, anything AI, right? Anything AI has been popping, okay? Has been popping. Anything AI has been popping um, with news. Specifically, when NVIDIA is strong, all right? NVIDIA is certainly the leader of that. Um, SMCI as well, all right? And we have shorts hooting and hollering about the one day in, this, in their lifespans that they pulled, you know what I mean? Like this, big, huge pull. Huge pull, awesome. Actually, great short, too. I have no problem with that. But to me, the up move, the moves to the upside are always more impressive. You know what I mean? So. It's going to 1,000, looks like. GXAI. It's a split pump. Damn, it's a split pump. It's a reverse split pump. It's one of the best swing strategies out there. Okay? They didn't really fade. They didn't really give a swing opportunity in my eyes. But they did pump it this morning. Right? They did a reverse split because they were trading under a buck. They had to regain compliance. We talk about this all the damn time. Okay? The best swing, swing trading strategy in small cap. Maybe within the whole markets, I think for explosive, explosive returns. There's nothing like it. On Tuesday, March 5th, that already went down, right? Last Tuesday, so no new news there, it looks like, unless I'm missing something. Few more minutes and I got to get over to uh, the Discord, y'all. Yeah, and I apologize for the technical difficulties this morning. We're having some internet issues here at my uh, at my office. So we'll get that fixed up for tomorrow. Got NCNA, KTRA, we've got some cheaper stocks on the scan at the moment. 
NCANA. I don't see a PR. Does anyone see a PR for them? Um, KTRA. No PR there either, it looks like. What kind of filing? Ah, okay. There is something. KTRA is seeking withdrawal of the, registra of the registration statement as they do not intend to pursue the contemplated public offering at this time, right? On, on KTRA, they're basically saying, hey, we're not gonna dilute it, withdrew their offer. That thing, it's actually quite interesting to me because, oh, what's the gap down from? I doubt that's from an offering. That looks like um, poor phase results or something like that when I look at that. Does anyone know? Anyways. They're going to withdraw their registration statement. Something I got to look into the filings at. But somewhat interesting. TXAI, I, I just can't chase it. I just don't have edge. Okay. I don't have edge up here. This is exactly what we're talking about. When I sucked at trading, guys, when I was new, what everyone teaches you is that you got to wait for the breakout, right? That's what they teach. Wait for it to dip and then break out. Oh, actually, wait for it to break out and then test the breakout. It's all buying hot too high. All of this is too high. All of it, no matter what it does. So I'll let it shake. I'll let it do its thing. It's good to see. The people who are doing the best, some of the best trades have been occurring pre-market. And, and I've been confirming that, right? Just to let you know. So it's something that I'm going to be doing more of is a lot, quite a bit more pre-market trading going forward. As long as we have explosive pre-market moves the way we do and people are trading news, no one can trade the news faster or better than me, in my opinion. I just don't haven't done it in years. It's not so much been my MO unless I'm trading a sector or something like that. So, yeah, we've got CXAI as well. Looks like it may be uh, acting like a sympathy play here. We were talking about loading this one in Tennessee as well. Um, the whole sector, perhaps, correct? The whole sector. MRAI. Okay, look at this chart. I think if everything goes to how I think it's going to go and how I've been predicting since before this year started, um, we're going to see all of these tickers break out. And we put it this way. Most of you have not actually seen sector momentum, what it looks like. I, you know, it, it, this is sector momentum, but I mean real sector momentum. Okay, I'm talking like, like the COVID era tickers, like the E, and I liken these more to the EV tickers. I think the legs are all year long kind of tickers. Okay, even if Nvidia has bigger pools, I think we'll see even breakouts later on, in my opinion. Okay, so I look at MRI and I, MRAI, and I see fives or higher. Okay, personally, um, same with CXAI. Right, that one was kind of crazy. That one went to what eighty bucks when they had their huge push over here after hours. Um, but certainly they could, they could go parabolic again. Okay. BFRG. I took some of them yesterday only because they're down here now by support. So when I'm looking at charts like this for swing trades, okay. When I'm looking for charts like this for swing trades on AI plays, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some lows. I'm looking for a daily where I can buy some support and not have to chase through high still. Um, that being said, there are quite a few tickers on here, right? Quite a few AI tickers to keep an eye on. Holy shit, who remembers Sega? It was on the scan yesterday. Remember them? Carlos, they did a dividend thing too, son. Look at this. Monkey box, remember? That's crazy. Um, anyways, AI plays, quantum plays. This is QBTS. Quantum computing, QUBT, I think is one, right? So there's a lot of stuff out there, y'all, okay? Hey, I got a jam, though. Sorry, I got to get to, first of all, my internet is literally about to die. 
<laughs> so I got to figure out what the hell is going on there. But I apologize for the laggy, laggy feed. I am going to repost this so you can come on and, and watch it uh, hopefully in a smoother fashion. But we will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, just stay tuned. You'll see. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff coming out. All right. Uh, thanks for joining me this morning. Sorry for the technical difficulties. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next 30 days. I hope you are. If you are, make sure again, you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Everyone have a good one. If you're in the pack, I'll catch you guys in the discord, the main stock chat, uh, my stage for live trading. Love you all. Stay safe.